day is um, our last car ride together. September 9th, 2021 was the day I had to make the hardest decision of my life. It was the day I realized that it was time I had to let you go. When I first laid eyes on you, you were so full of life, love, and all the trouble you could cause for a little ball of fluff. From the moment I brought you home and let you out of the car, you stuck by my side. You would follow me anywhere and everywhere that you were allowed to go with me. When I had to leave you at home, you were always eagerly waiting for me to walk through the door. You were my protector. You'd growl and snap at anyone who came near me that you didn't trust. You'd burst through the front door barking and causing a huge scene at anyone who walked by the house. You were so strong-willed and had a complete mind of your own. No matter how many times I scolded you, I would come home from class <laughs> or work to find the oven door and kitchen drawers all open and trash drug out all over the floor. If there was any food on the kitchen counter, you did not hesitate to jump up and help yourself despite the repercussions. You always kept me on my toes, whether it was going to the animal ER for eating a ton of chicken bones or for getting into an overdosing on your medication. One time you literally broke through a door. Yes, he burst through the panel of a wooden door so that you could be with me. You would even run through and take the shock of our electric fence to get to the me. I absolutely have no clue why you love me so much. I've always struggled with extremely low self-esteem, but you always stuck by me and made me feel so unconditionally loved and worth something. You would look at me like I was the greatest person in the world. And no matter what life threw at me, whether it was just a bad day, losing my loved ones, or having my heart broken in pieces, you were always there for me to cry on. No matter who left me behind, you never did. I am someone who can't sit in one place long. I thrive off of change, but through my need to be everywhere that I am not, you were my constant. You kept me grounded. You were always down to go on any road trip or hike that I would take you on. Any adventure I went on that I had to leave you behind, you were my reason to come home. <laughs> Through growing up together and all the adventures we had, time eventually started to take a toll on you. <laughs> no matter how bad your health declined, you lived on for me. Time can be such a cruel thing. We went from walking 17 miles together to you barely being able to go to the bathroom without me holding you up. Eventually it got to the point where you were not you anymore. <laughs> and no matter how much I would lay with you and beg you, I knew you weren't going to leave by my side if you could help it. Your body became a prison and it was my responsibility as your mother to free your soul from it. <sighs> Even though I know in my heart that what I did was best for you, I hate coming to terms with that from now on, I have to wake up every day for the rest of my life to have to re-realize that you aren't laying on the floor next to my bed anymore. <laughs> my world is so terribly quiet now. I feel like as soon as your heart beat its last beat, the huge part of me disappeared. I feel empty and numb. As much as my heart aches, I am just so grateful that you were mine. Thank you for absolutely everything you gave me. There will never be a day that goes by that I won't think about how much I loved you and how much I miss you. <laughs> Rest in peace, Addison. You were my greatest adventure. Happy birthday to you. Happy
Happy birthday to you.